welcome to the vlog and I am the pinnacle of laziness. <laughs> I am driving to go and get the mail and then I'm gonna come home. <laughs> Let's calculate how long this is gonna take. I started recording as I pulled out of the garage and we're almost at the mailbox. I just really don't wanna, you know, walk. It's cold and I don't feel good and I can make up a million other like sort of semi-valid excuses if I really wanted to. Well, that was exceedingly worth it. It's actually a good thing I picked it up because I was taking up both of the like package boxes so killed that. Hi guys! I am going on a date. <laughs> Hold on, I need to take this off. It's way too constricting. Yeah, I'm going on a date. <laughs> I was trying to remember the last time I was on a date and I I don't know <laughs> when it was. Um, mainly because this has given me a lot of anxiety. So fun, I need to get a new car mount. So I'm going to have to order one of those sometime soon. But I just got out and it was fun. I enjoyed it. The main thing that I was thinking, like, mostly the entire time is like, why have I been so nervous to do this, you know? But now I'm gonna go to Marshall's and pick up a couple of fall candles because I told myself if I did this and beat this level of anxiety, I would be able to go and get some candles. Kind of like as a reinforcement for my, like, getting out of my comfort zone behavior. Well... I made a monstrous order for basics off of Blue Notes because they were having 40% off. I literally got so many t-shirts and tank tops and sweaters and cardigans. I spent like $200 and I saved like $200. <laughs> so I got so much stuff. I'm not amused. It was too early. <laughs> it is 8.30 on Saturday. Saturday is my day to sleep in. But we're gonna go over to my grandma's and start getting ready to move some stuff because she moves into a different apartment uh, at the end of this month, so we're getting kind of a head start. And I'm having so much coffee. It's very early. <laughs> no, so I'm just taking a little break from cleaning out my closet. I already decluttered everything. I will have that video up in a couple weeks, but I'm hungry, so I'm making some Uncle Ben's rice. And look at what my grandma started. Remember when she brought over that champagne? My hand is shaking, I'm that hungry. But now we have a stockpile. That is the, um, I don't know, let me actually get the bottle to show you. It's really good, and I'm pretty sure it was like maybe six bucks. Really good if you want, it's not even champagne, it's like sparkling wine, but it's really good. Um, so I got that. Six bucks, really good for mimosas and feeling fancy even when you're a cheap ass bitch. Here's your your buddy fix for the day, huh? He's doing good. He's doing good stuff, guys. Just waiting for the rice. I'm gonna make that, mix it with some cheese and a bunch of pepper. And then I'm gonna go up, finish my closet. I'm reorganizing everything. I probably got rid of maybe 20% of stuff. If you remember my one big Con Marie rehaul or uh, overhaul I got rid of probably like 60% of my stuff so still a good percentage but I uh, recently bought a bunch of stuff off of blue notes they were having like 40% off so I got a bunch of basics like t-shirts and tank tops and uh, layering pieces for the winter I got a couple sweaters I got a jacket I just got a couple things that I have been like noticing gaps of my closet in so I am pretty much just switching out my closet you know I'm getting rid of pieces that are a little bit too ratty or things that I don't wear and bringing in some new stuff so that's good I'm excited and now I don't need to buy any more winter clothes at least I don't think I do I'm pretty sure I'm like set but what are you doing buddy you just chilling we're just chilling now my rice is done and uh I don't know maybe I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of what the closet situation is gonna look like let me give you guys a little sneak peek this is all the stuff that I'm getting rid of, and then, oh, I keep getting questions about these. They just didn't fit these Nikes, which I'm really sad about, so I'm going to see if one of my girlfriends wants them. And then, oh, look at how pretty. Oh, it looks so much better. So much better. Um, and then, I also recently just got this beauty. I mean, really, can you even just 
How do people do this with just like one hand? Oh my god, I'm amazing, cool. Look at how stunning this is. This is so far my only holiday purchase. I needed it. I needed it. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, my boxy charm came in. Let's do a little boxy charm unboxing. So it came with this pure palette, and that one retails for $34. And then it also came with this blush. And it's really pretty. I'm going to throw this into a giveaway just because I don't like loose blushes. But that one retails for $35. Then you've got this, um, what is this? A satin, ultra satin lip from ColourPop. It's in the shade Strip. I'm going to keep that. Those retail for 6 bucks. You have got this right here. This is the MAC, what is that? Eyebrow Crayon Pencil in Lingering. This um, eyebrush duo. And that one is from Bodyography for $20. I'm really excited about this brush. I think that's going to be awesome. And then I also tried this last thing that you get, which is this Briogeo Don't Repair or Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I used it as like a literal mask the other day and my hair feels so much better. I have like hair on here. I'm gross. Sorry. Um, I've also tried out this palette, which I'll open up for you real quick. And it is really pretty. Definitely really nice colors, good for neutral looks. I'm wearing this one on my lid today, and then I put like a glitter kind of thing over top, but I really, really like those colors. The pigment is really nice, I won't lie. Like it's definitely not, in my opinion, like a must-have palette, but it is a nice addition, especially since I just decluttered, just to have all these kind of neutral shades. And then this is the eye look that I made today. I do have some um, Huda Beauty glitter on top. And I've got Buffy on my lips, which I almost decluttered in my makeup thing, which is gonna go live sometime soon, but I almost decluttered it and I'm glad I didn't because I actually really like it. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see the last vlog that I put up, it is called I Have a Date. I just uploaded it today, which is Sunday. Hello. And um, that's it. I will see you guys. Next video will probably be a Q&A and then there will be more vlogs. I'm going to try to vlog more often because I feel like life's getting exciting. I'm almost done some classes. I'm excuse me, oh, excuse me, I'm pretty much done decluttering, so now it's just going to be like over the next couple weeks starting to pack, so life is exciting. Anyways, I'm going to end this here. I am so blabby today, and I will see you later.